you don't need a telescope to take in the stars of our Milky Way galaxy. But planets are much harder to see. Compared to stars, exoplanets are faint and tiny, so most are detected by indirect methods. For example, many an exoplanet has been found by the so-called radial velocity method. This method detects the small gravitational pull that planets exert on their neighboring stars. The star's movement changes its color, making the light bluer as the star moves toward Earth and redder as it recedes away. Astronomers detect unseen planets by measuring these subtle changes in starlight, which we call the Doppler effect. Another tactic is called microlensing. Einstein's general theory of relativity tells us that massive objects bend light rays like a lens. When two stars align, the star that's farther away becomes magnified. What astronomers see is the faint background star brighten and then fade. But planets can bend these light rays too, so they tweak the symmetry of the magnifying lens. Now the faint star brightens and fades in a more herky-jerky pattern, revealing an unseen planet. Astronomers can also find planets by transit search. This is how NASA's Kepler spacecraft detects planets by the dozen. Each time a planet passes through Kepler's field of view, it blocks a tiny portion of starlight, dimming the star ever so slightly. So although the planet is too small to be seen, its presence is felt. With so many different ways of finding exoplanets, astronomers are discovering new worlds all the time, whether they can see them or not. For Scientific American's Instant Egghead, I'm John Matson.